Okay, this is a bad hair day. Uh, Danny's gonna be at his new house, and so Jim and I are on our way there, and I didn't have time to take my shower yet, so I just got dressed. So I didn't wash my hair yet, so look how bad it looks. Uh, I see a shower in my future as soon as we get home. But Jim has to go to work, so we wanted to see the house right now, and then he's gonna drop me off and then go on to work. But anyway, today is Saturday, October 1st. It is another rainy day. It's 59 degrees and um, not much planned for today. Jim's gonna go to work and then he's gonna go to the gym and that's the extent of it. So um, stick with me, we'll see what the day brings. Bumpy ride, I feel like I'm on a stagecoach. We're in Jim's truck. Well, as you can see, I never took a shower. <laughs> Stinky. Um, I got home and I had a day of eating, which is bad. So this is my new thought. It's not a good thought, but it's my thought. Um, I have spent the day gorging on crap. And my thought process is just to eat everything that I can eat that tempts me and then not eat it anymore because I'm going to get sick and that'll have my memory of being sick. Stupid, stupid, stupid. And I know that's a crappy word, but it's just dumb. So I had a banana split and I had a ham and cheese sandwich with chips and dip and a pop. And I had uh, tacos for lunch. I had a donut for breakfast. What else did I have? Not good. Oh, and a piece of cake that was left over from last night. I've eaten so much crap today that uh, I'm going to spend the, the day tomorrow in the bathroom. But I think if I get this all in and get it all out of my system, then I'll Monday when I start fresh and new, that um, I'm just going to get over it. I just am. I have reached a point and, that I, I know that this is what I have to do. I just finished, well, first of all, I went to Best Buy yesterday and uh, they did everything with my computer. I Like I told you, I was there for over an hour. They checked all my updates. They checked all my apps. They looked for bugs. You know, they, they looked for viruses. They looked every. They looked through the whole thing. But they couldn't find anything wrong. And they suggested that I contact YouTube because they thought it must have been a problem within YouTube. Which, you know what, Corinne told me that. Um, I think it was Music Mom told me that. <laughs> I had a lot of people tell me that. And uh, so I did. I got home. And I reported the problem, and this morning when I got on the my computer, my iPad, it still wasn't working, so I reported it once again, and uh, then spent the day eating, which was crappy, I know. So then uh, I decided, you know, let's check it out. And guess what? It's working now. For how long? I don't know. So I thought I'm going to do what I can to start watching my videos, and uh, I started watching my videos. And then um, David stopped by because Cindy was taking Alyssa shopping for some clothes at uh, Target or whatever. And David didn't want to go, so he just stayed here. And so he took my iPad to go on my... He goes on Instagram through my iPad. But anyway, you didn't need to know that, but I told you. But uh, so just before that, which was just a little bit, maybe a half hour ago, because David's gone now, that... Uh, I watched Kim from Fit and Fabulous Mamas, and she really hit home with me. She just said that she had her, she had some private issues. Um, check out her video, and uh, she just, um, but anyway, send prayers for her. I mean, I'm praying for her all the time, but she just needs some prayers too. But anyway, it really touched home with me, and it really got me to thinking that, you know, she had a week. She cried, she got over her issues, and now she's back on track. I've had months of being off track, and I've used excuse after excuse after excuse. My face is starting to look fat to me again, like right in here. So it's just like there. You know, and I still look fat. I still look fat. So um, I just, uh, I, I am. On Monday, I know I shouldn't, I should probably do it tomorrow, but I know I won't. I'll be honest with you, I know I won't. But on Monday, I start my water aerobics again. I've already got my healthy foods in. You know, I went to Myers and I got my uh, grapefruit. I bought some raspberries and strawberries and blackberries. I got my bananas. I bought some eggs. 
I bought lettuce for salads. I have chicken. I have all the healthy stuff in the house that I need. And uh, I'm on there Monday. I'm back on track on Monday. I know I will. I know I have to start back walking because when I went to see Danny's house today, uh, his steps to get into his house were a little steep. And I had a hard time going up the steps. And it reminded me of how I felt when I wasn't walking and I wasn't able to get my exercise in, how I felt like an old woman. And I have to tell you that when I went to Danny's house climbing up those stairs to get into the house, I felt like an old woman. I know I'm old. I'm 66. You know that. But I'm not an old woman. And I refuse to get to the point that I'm going to get all stiff and bent over and have a backache and, oh, that's too far to walk and I can't do that. That is not going to be my life. I know that for a fact. And so I have to start with the water aerobics. I have to start back walking again. I know these are things I have to do. And uh, it's just going to be my job. Everybody has a job in life or a mission in life. This is going to be mine. I have to do it. I know it. I have no doubt of it. And you guys have supported me. You've held me up long enough. And I know how much I weigh. So that's a lot of weight to hold up. <laughs> so um, I promise I'm going to start lifting up some of my own weight. Kind of ease your burden just a little bit. Well, actually, I should ease your burden a whole lot. Because I do remember one time I stepped on somebody's foot in the show. And I was like, they kind of, you know, like when I was leaving to go to the bathroom or something. And they go, oh, that's okay. And I go, oh, no, I know how much I weigh. I know how much that had to hurt. <laughs> and they wanted to laugh. But because I'm big, they didn't want to laugh because they thought it would be rude. I would have laughed if I was them because it was true. I know how much I weigh. I know that had to hurt. <laughs> so, um, I like I said, you can look at me or whatever. Maybe I need someone to cross my face and say, you know, you're fat. Get off the horse. You need to be doing something. So anyway, I know it was kind of a crappy video today. I didn't do anything but sit and eat and eat and sit. And then sit and eat. And then eat and eat. So, uh, but that's who I am. Take it or leave it. But please don't leave it. Please don't leave me. So, um, thank you again. I thank you all the time for all your support. I can't even begin to tell you how much I appreciate all the help and support you guys have given me. Um, I just wish Denise would come back. Because maybe if I had her kickstarting my butt too. She's... She's not like going to Weight Watchers, but she swims every morning and she is somewhat watching what she's eating. And so I have no excuses because you know what? This is my hand. This is the, well, no, let me do this right. This is the hand that uses the fork to shove the food in or the spoon with the ice cream. Picks up the stuff. This is the hand that's getting me in trouble. Nobody else's hand. I don't see anybody. Look at, see? Look, watch. It's attached to me. It's not attached to anybody else. It's attached to me. So I'm the one controlling it. And so I have to know. I have to stop letting it lead me the wrong way. And now I'm talking like Polly on Big Brother, who can't talk unless he uses his hands. Okay. Enough of the foolishness. So... Uh, oh, I don't want to be too close either, because that's like a pad. And then let's see if I can figure out a way angle that I look really good. You know what? When you're big, there's not really a good angle. Let's see. Ooh, no good angles for me. The only good angle is to lose weight, and that's the angle I'm going to be taking. So, um, like this video. I haven't done that in a while. Subscribe. Comment. I don't know. There's nothing to share, but try to share it. And I will see you on Monday with a whole new perspective, a whole new outlook, and a whole new dedication to my program. This I will do. I know it.